four. I thank you. I now take this opportunity uh, with honor to invite His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces and the Chancellor of the National Defense University, Kenya, to make his remarks. Welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Minister. Let's take our seats. Sante Nisana. Excellencies, Council and Management of National Defense University, Kenya, family and graduates. I am delighted to join you as we celebrate yet another graduation at the National Defense University, Kenya. The class of 2024 now joins the distinguished ranks of previous cohorts who have passed through the esteemed institution and gone on to serve our nation diligently and effectively. I am proud of this opportunity to address the dedicated men and women who have applied themselves to the pursuit of knowledge in furtherance of their patriotic service to our nation. This ceremony is not merely an academic milestone. It represents a pivotal step in our collective effort to strengthen Kenya's defense and security framework. In you, we witness the spirit of commitment to the transformation and progress of our nation, including that of our region and the world at large. As we celebrate your achievements, we also take this opportunity to reflect on the broader vision that unites us, our collective aspirations for a secure, resilient, and rapidly developing Kenya that contributes to a united, peaceful, and prosperous Africa. The Africa Union's Agenda 2063 inspires us with its Pan-African vision of a continent that is integrated, self-reliant, and influential in the global stage. And I am very proud of the diversity that I see of the graduates in this university. Defense and security are fundamental to achieving this vision and your role as professionals in the national and regional defense, peace, and security sector is central to its fulfillment. The work undertaken at the National Defense University Kenya reinforces our country's credentials as a robust anchor of stability in our region and beyond. We are at a critical juncture globally, regionally, and at home, where the demand for making difficult and complex decisions has never been greater in addressing urgent challenges and complex problems. For this reason, I encourage you to embrace continuous learning, the humility to remain teachable, and adapt and cultivate a deep appreciation for innovation to sustain your capability for this high calling. As is now well understood, defense extends beyond safeguarding borders to encompass strategies for understanding and managing the multifaceted drivers of insecurity. Security, therefore, must involve fostering stability, economic growth, and the partnership required to address global challenges effectively. In an era of defined by disruption and dynamism, uncertainty and disinformation, discontent and conflict, as well as threats and crises, the security challenges we face are vast, they are complex, and ever-evolving, including cyber uh, threats, information warfare, terrorism, maritime vulnerabilities, and climate-induced crises alongside traditional security risks that we all know. Addressing these challenges demands the ability to track 
rapidly changing dynamics. Analyze them using clear evidence and accurate data. Evaluate options from a multidimensional perspective and implement strategies informed by multidisciplinary learning. I am confident that during your time at this university, you have acquired the skills, learned the techniques, and acquired attitudes necessary to contribute effectively uh, in a very responsive manner and in a forward-thinking, solution-oriented manner. I am equally confident that your education and training has equipped you to harness the full spectrum of our nation's potential in diplomatic, informational, military, and economic power and influence. As you graduate, you are charged with a critical task of addressing crises as they arise while anticipating and mitigating future risks. In so doing, I trust that your efforts shall be guided by a commitment to enable Kenya make its full contribution to a united and self-reliant Africa, capable of charting its own path and playing its role in the global space. I challenge the National Defense University of Kenya to remain visionary and to craft forward-looking strategies that anticipate pressing challenges, particularly in times of national crisis, and in response to clear need for robust disaster management capacity. I urge the university to implore collaboration with county governments as a means to strengthen the preparedness and effectiveness of crisis response mechanisms nationwide, with particular focus on addressing climate-related disaster. This morning, I had occasion to engage the university management and council. And I am very proud of the assignments that I gave last year that today I have received feedback. I will make sure that feedback informs government policy as we plan forward. <laughs> However, because I have the privilege of being chancellor of this university, I have another two assignments. One assignment is on matters of our nation and where we stand today, especially on matters related to the young people of our nation. In my assignment to this university, and I'm asking this time round that you work with, in collaboration with your partners and other universities, is to examine for us in the matters relating to our young people. What is the place of parents? What is the place of family? What is the place of society? What is the place of religion in bringing up a morally upright patriotic citizenry? So that we can better understand the breakdown that leads into young people committing femicide, the moral challenge we have in families where family members end up being a threat to themselves and where society has adopted a deviant, belligerent posture. You now hear of incidences of Maisha Niyangu, Shukulika Nayaku. Where does that leave family, society, community, religion, tradition, and culture? My second assignment is on information. There is an avalanche of information. As I said yesterday, because of the different spaces of available information, it is 
much more easy today to inform the public, to educate the public, to even entertain the public, but also equally, it is much more easy to misinform the public, to disinform the public, for fake news to travel miles before you know what the truth is. What is the place of fake news, of social media, and the advent of misinformation, fake news, disinformation, and what effect it has on public understanding and governance and public trust on institution, institutions that are supposed to be responsible for governance. I'm sure these are issues that are of importance and requires intellectual discourse, intellectual interrogation to give us pathways for us to chat going into the future. In today's interconnected world, risks and threats easily escalate into global crises and disasters. However, our collective and individual security can be significantly enhanced through partnership and strategic alliances. Challenges such as climate change, transitional crime, cross-border terrorism, and instability driven by scarcity or economic crisis often transcend borders. Kenya's security depends on the strength of our collaborative framework with regional neighbors and global allies. Fostering dynamic and responsive partnership frameworks that promote mutual respect, shared security, and inclusive prosperity calls for strategic capacity that I urge you as graduates of this great university to develop. I am encouraged by the university's leadership in fostering such alliances as exemplified by initiatives like the Senior Professional Military Education Commandants Forum, which brings together military leaders from across Africa to share insights and best practices. This kind of collaboration must be expanded and deepened to include a broader range of professionals and organizations thereby enhancing our collective capability to address emerging security threats. There can no longer be any doubt that in the 21st century, technology underpins our defense strategies. Consequently, it is imperative that this university moves with urgency to establish itself firmly as a hub of security-related research and innovation so as to consolidate Kenya's military capabilities while developing valuable technologies with broad civilian value. Cyber, cyber security, artificial intelligence, robotics, automation, and advanced data systems must become fundamental pillars of our national defense strategy and capabilities. I challenge the class of 2024 and the entire student body to lead in adopting and deploying these transformative technologies, not only for the national defense, but also to drive economic growth, modernize infrastructure, and uplift our society. The bottom-up economic transformation agenda offers the university opportunities to channel Kenya's young talent into emerging fields, fostering innovation, and contributing to national development. As digital natives, our young people hold the key to transforming productivity through technology, and the university should collaborate with government ministries and agencies to harness this tremendous potential. Kenya recognizes that people are the cornerstone of national security. This means that an effective defense strategy relies on the contribution of skilled, ready and ethical personnel. I reaffirm my commitment to ensuring that our defense forces receive the training, 
equipment and support they need to excel and play their part in national growth. The National Defense University of Kenya, for its part, must continue to shape leaders of integrity, resilience, and adaptability, a job that you're already doing very well, and congratulations to this university for what you're doing. <laughs> Under the bottom up economic transformation plan, our security philosophy is defined not merely as the absence of conflict, but the presence of opportunity. By implication, therefore, our conception of security is intertwined with our ambition for economic development, governance, and the empowerment of all citizens with special focus on youth, on women, and those who come from vulnerable situations. An inclusive approach to security not only strengthens the social fabric, but also underpins national resilience that is collective and that carries everybody on board. As you proceed to take up your new roles, I urge you to always bear in mind that you are part of a greater patriotic movement dedicated to the realization of our collective vision for a secure and prosperous Kenya within a peaceful and prosperous Africa. Your time at this university has prepared motivated and equipped you to defend our national sovereignty, safeguard its transformation, and champion innovation and foster collaboration. Your readiness in this respect will be summoned to action whenever challenges arise, and your true caliber will be measured in terms of your capacity to perceive crisis and challenges as opportunities to shape the future and leave a strong, positive legacy. I encourage you to uphold the tradition of excellence, integrity, and service that define the National Defense University of Kenya, and to serve the people of, of our nation with courage, honor, and unwavering patriotism. Play your part in elevating Africa and champion our collective aspiration for a secure, and thriving continent. I also pray that your contribution finds favor with the Almighty God and that every task you perform and every day you serve is blessed with success. On behalf of the people of Kenya, I congratulate the class of 2024 and wish you fulfilling careers defined by excellence in service and courage in the face of any challenge. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. God bless you, and God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante Nisan. May we rise for the national anthem.